leading them out, 27-year-old Bernardo Oliveira and Santiago Arcila will represent Colombia. En el blanco número uno y representando a Colombia. On target number one, representing Colombia, Santiago Arcila. He's only en el blanco one prime número dos y representando a Brasil. Arcilla. On target number two, representing Brazil, Bernardo Oliveira. Well, <laughs> Oliveira, the grand old age of 27, de Sarah, match, is uh, by for far this match, the oldest archer Saul in these semifinals. Flores. Yeah, he is shooting against much younger archers. <laughs> well, we've seen that uh, youth have had the day so far, actually, um, in these finals. But it doesn't always count. A real variety of ages competing here. And indeed right across the sport. But for Santiago Arcila of Colombia, this is really his first shot at a big podium place. Ocho, eight. He starts with a commendable eight. You can hear the wind getting up on the microphones. Possible ocho, seven possible eight. And yes. a ten just ten. when he needed it to take the set and go two nil up. Seventy meter range from that angle, don't you? Yeah, and you can see that his bow is very well tuned, and that arrow just flies very straight. Resultado parcial oficial: dos puntos de set. Bernardo Oliveira de Brasil, cero puntos de set. Santiago Arcila de Colombia. Official partial results: two set points to Bernardo Oliveira from Brazil, zero set points. Santiago Arcila from Colombia. So what do they have any lens? No, uh, they could. Some of them have lenses, but without any power. It depends, you know, uh, personal preferences again. Set two. Arcila struggling against the breeze. Look at him wobble. He's running out of time. Oh, he does Nueve. it then. He does. Nine. Under pressure. Nine. 
Trevi. Well, three good Nine. nines there from Santiago Arcila. And that has squared the match. Nine Nueve. from Oliveira, but it Nine. was never going to be enough. So two all. Arcila showing his mettle and disappointed by his first set, but he's come back 2-2 two -two now. So what sort of training have archers been able to do over the past year? I guess it depends where you are in the world, what kind of, you know, house you have, if you have, you know, a home range where you can get 70 meters Resultado for recharge, oficial, or if you have, you know, for example, ambos, like uh, Sara Lopez, only Fischl five meters results, and you've spent, you know, set points the for whole each lockdown archer. just shooting five meters and, you know, working on your technique. I guess that will depends on the rules where you are and you know what facilities you can get to. Third set, all square, 2-2 two -two going into this. It's a nine for Arcilla. Ocho, eight. Ocho, eight. Both of them paying a lot of attention to their coaches. Conditions changing so quickly. Ocho, so, possible nueve. Eight, possible eight. nine. I'll need confirmation. So that's only nine points between them. Oliveira, ten for a win. And he gets the nine. Nueve. So it's 25 nine. apiece and it goes to three all. We'll wait for that to be confirmed. So with with the I mean the, the, the subtleties of shooting in these windy gusty conditions how can the coaches uh, help them i mean obviously they can tell them how their their arrow has once it's hit the target where it's gone inside. Oficial, de set, Santiago Arcila de Colombia so for example, de set, well, he's been marked up then Oliveira de Brazil yes yeah. so he was marked up results, four set points, Santiago so Arcila from Colombia, Colombia set goes points, ahead Oliveira and is now 4-2 up so when you're at full draw you can't really pay attention to that sock and if it you know suddenly changes then that's where you would hope your coach is paying attention and can you know tell you Ocho. eight Yes. Ten. Ocho. Eight. Oh, he took his time. Seis. Six. Nueve. Solid nine, nine. for Del Mera to finish on 25. Ten to win the match for Santiago Arcilla. And he gets it! Yes. Ten. Santiago Arcilla, the 21 year old from Colombia in his biggest tournament to date.
goes through the semi-finals and will challenge for the gold medal. Well, Sarah, that's that was definitely the underdog in that semi-final. Ganador it was, de yes. este match, de este yeah, match, uh, semifinal Santiago Arcila de Oliveira Colombia. Has a lot more pasará a disputar la medalla you know, de oro. Bernardo Oliveira pasará a disputar la medalla de bronce. Winner of this match, Santiago Arcila from Colombia. You know, will be shooting for the gold medal. From, for this Bernardo match. Oliveira from Brazil. I can see that from the look on his face. Shooting for the bronze medal. <laughs> Yeah, your prediction, not, not right on this one. But, you know, uh, these conditions are, are difficult. But, I mean, you know, did, uh, Arcillo, we, can't, we don't want to take anything away from him. That was a good performance in, in blustery, windy conditions. Yeah, it was a very good performance. He shot a 10 when he had to, you know. There was, he handled that pressure really well. Well, Bernardo Oliveira will have a chance in the bronze medal match when he faces uh, Chilean Ricardo Soto. And that's another difficult one to call. 